Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm recording this straight after, so if you had any questions about the last video, you'll probably have to look at the comment section back then to get a full definite answer. Anyway, here is John Grisham's Theodore Boone Kid Lawyer, the first book in a five-part five part of movie movie book series it's five parts currently there's I would expect to be a six but from what I've read about the fifth one I have not read the fifth one I've read the the first four I've read them all different in a range that went fourth third wait, was it fourth was it third yeah fourth third first and second second was the last one I read but besides that is beyond the point uh, my main my main uh, Thing I'm trying to get across here is um, the book review itself. So, I, I am wearing the same shirt. Don't think I've decided to wear this shirt for however many however many days it's been since I did the last book review. Uh, this is an easy read. This book is a pretty easy read. I read the second one in the same day. Uh, it probably took me maybe seven hours to read. I'm, a slow, I'm not a fast reader, but I do take my time to appreciate what's been what's being written. So that is that's that's the story of the uh, the second one. The second one took me not that long. They're all little. They're all either shorter or longer than the last than the last book. But we're well, you know I'm getting off topic. We're here to vote. You guys are here to vote, to have a, a me talk about the kid lawyer. Now what do I think of the book? What, well, how I see it, I see it. Uh, when I started reading these, I read them. I read them. I read them, and I was very captivated. But I was very captivated, cap captivated by this, uh, by this, by the the fourth one. So when I got the other ones, I read them all. I read this one. when I read this one. It was the beginning. It was the beginning. So I had to erase everything I knew about the future. Read this one. So I did. I read it. Very, it's very interesting. It's he's not violent. He's not a violent character. He's a very peaceful character. He uses words, vocabulary, and such. He just and just does all that. He uses his knowledge of the law to get a, get by. All that and kid lawyer. The first one is about his about so, uh, someone in the and his small town being murdered and. There's a witness who happens to be an illegal immigrant. Um, he doesn't want to come forward because he thinks he'll be deported, and his family, and his family, uh, not only in the country but also back home, depend depend on him to get money. So he doesn't come forward about it, but he has evidence and he has a bunch of stuff to put the guy away. You know, you follow him, you follow him, trying to figure out who who this guy is, and such. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a good perspective to view to st if you're on the outside perspective, of what's going on. It's it's fun to be a part of. Um, it's about and it's about a 13 year old kid. This kid is 13 years old and he's getting involved with all this political freaking spooky shit, which I don't have a problem with. I li I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, was a very good read. It's a very, very good quality read. I do definitely recommend it to you, to you, the the viewer right now, to your grandma, to everybody. I recommend it to anyone if you're interested in books like this. I definitely recommend it. And if you're not, I would still recommend it. You may not like it, depending on your taste. To me, I just read whatever sounds good. I read the things that look that I've read and I want a continuation of. Dive Wimp Kid, fifth one, that was it for me. This one, as long as they don't mess up the fifth one, The Fugitive, I will probably still read these. But I've read all the other ones except the fifth one. This one, how would I, how would I explain, how do I best explain this? This one right here. In summary, uh... His parents were lawyers. He gets involved with a serious crime. He gets involved. Well, he doesn't get entirely involved. He's just trying to get a witness to come forward about it that nobody knows about except him and and the witness's cousin. That's it. Those are the only three. Those are the only two people who know of his actual identity. 
Um, he's very he's a very interesting character. He's an interesting character, well written. Both of his parents are lawyers. I'm pretty sure I just said that like four or five times by now. I'm, I don't have much to say about this book. I I love the story. I love the characters in it. There's not the only ones I don't like. I don't like because how they're in the story, like. Like, they're good at what they're, they're, like, the bad, the people who are jerk, like, you know how you have the villains in a story or the, pro, or the antagonists in a story, you don't, and you don't like them sometimes, that's, that's how, those are the only characters I don't like, are the antagonists in this story, they're well written, they're very good at what they do, very realistic, it's real, this book is realistic fiction, recommend it. That's going to be it, though. I can't go on about this book because it's there's not much to go on about like there was with the last book review I did on Friday. Uh, this will probably be out on a Monday, and this Friday I'll have The Abduction, which is the second book in the franchise. That's that. Anyway, hope you all did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and peace. Let me just do that.